Well, the formula you want to know when you're compounding continuously is the PERT formula. And it's oftentimes written as A equals PE raised to the RT power. And the P just represents the principal, that's what you're starting with. Uh, e is the natural base E, 2.71. And then R is the interest rate. Uh, you want to convert that into a decimal by moving the decimal point two places to the left. And then T is the time, generally in years. So let's get into an example and just talk about how to work with this. So say you start with $1,000 and the interest rate is 5% and you're just trying to figure out, well, how long is it going to take to double your money, right? So let's go ahead and use our formula. So we've got A equals PE to the RT power. And uh, we're trying to find out, let's see, the principal is 1,000, right? We want to end up with 2,000 E to the interest rate 0.05. I'm just moving that decimal point two places to the left uh, to convert it to a decimal. And then we're trying to solve for T time, right? Okay, so what you can think about doing is you can think about working from the outside in towards the variable, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by 1,000, okay? So you can see those are canceling. This is reducing to 2. So now we have 2 equals E to the 0.05 T. We want to get that t by itself, but we can see that it's in the exponent position. Okay, it's up here as a power. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the natural log of both sides. Logs and exponential functions, they're inverses of one another. They undo or cancel one another out. Now natural log, the ln here, you don't see it, but it's understood to be base e. So the natural log base e and this exponential function base e, they're undoing one another. You get 0 0.05 uh, t equals natural log of 2, and we're going to divide both sides by 0.05 now to get the time by itself. So let's go to the calculator. Let's see what that comes out to. We have, uh, let's see, natural log of 2 uh, divided by 0.05, and we're getting about 13.9 years. So I'm just going to approximate it as 14 years. So that would be your time to double if it's compounding continuously at 5%. So I hope this video helped you to understand how to work with the PERT formula a little bit better and figuring out time to double. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Check out more math videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring. And I look forward to seeing you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.